Eskil Vaughn. Uh, he did Thelma, Blind, uh, Louder Than Bombs, The Innocents. He's a well-known Scandinavian, or I'm not sure where, European uh, director and producer. He would be ideal. You should uh, pitch this to his people. There's probably a moat uh, dug around uh, the man. Uh, but uh, it just explained to his people that uh, uh, Tobit, the book of Tobit is from the Bible, and it's never been made into a film. The story is 2,600 years old, and it's never gotten around to being filmed. There was a silent film in the 1920s, but uh, for all intensive purposes, uh, there's 1.5 billion Catholics, Eastern Orthodox, and uh, Jewish people who are familiar with this story. Uh, Sarah has been married seven times, and seven times she's been made a widow. A uh, demon comes and kills her husband. So the first part of the movie setting up the uh, the action is, uh, I don't think it's repetitive because the demon killing uh, Sarah's husband is pretty creative about his uh, methods. And it's it's, it's uh, not repetitive on purpose. Uh, Asmodeus is a formidable uh, villain. Um Sarah is the key actress. I mean, uh, she is the protagonist. She's the bride, and she has to be very likable and, I think, recognizable because there's so many people out there that learned the story when they were young, and they have a picture of it from having read and studied the story from their Bible. Uh, you can't just get anybody off the bus to play the role of Sarah. She prays to God to die, but God sends an angel. And, uh, you know, the angel shows up. And that's the second half of the film. Uh, Raphael and protects the groom. Uh, the groom is to Toby, and uh, his father is Tobit. I don't think you can change the name of the film. It's got to be uh, Tobit because that's the name of the Bible. Uh, book in the Bible. And uh, there's a lot of name recognition with it. He's one of the most liked characters in the Bible. Uh, he's pious and charitable, takes care of strangers, takes care of his family. And the whole story is uh, moved forward uh, based on his love of family. And, uh, of course, we were waiting for him to give advice to his grandkids. So... And all of this in the 1930s Amsterdam. Uh, in the end, you know the Nazis are going to show up. What are going to, what's going to happen to these characters? Will Tobit die in his bed in Amsterdam peacefully? Or will he be carted off to die a uh, horrendous death in a German concentra concentration camp? Uh, Tobit's an 80-year-old Jew living in... Amsterdam. Uh, yeah, talk to uh, Eskel's uh, bots uh, people. I think they'd surely open up and uh, let him look at it and explore the story. Uh, you can sell it pretty easily with a few sentences. 1.6 billion uh, people are familiar with the story of a girl who has seven weddings and seven times her husband's killed. I don't, it shouldn't take you very long. Just lay it out there like that. Uh, he will come around. Just uh, sit, talk to his people.